Michael Nagy here with Jiggy Jag TV and DiscoveringBands.com. And for everyone watching right now, if you can share this video and this channel and help support the awesome bands I feature. And today I'm here with Oxy. How are you doing today? Good. Great. Thanks for inviting me. Yeah, you want to start off by giving us a little brief history about the band? You go, Gina. What? <laughs> um, well, we started playing together about six plus years ago. Um, Akiko and I had known each other from like our teenage years when we were in the Riot Girl scene here in the Bay Area. And over the years, we kind of like traveled to different places, moved around, and we like also saw each other in New York. We both lived there at the same time. And when I had moved back in 2014 to Oakland, I ran into Akiko at a show and I was like, hey, you want to start a band? And that's what happened. And <laughs> yeah, and, and Dylan also was living uh, in the New York area as well and knew Gina. And so we all kind of ran into each other at another show and started all playing together. So, yeah, I joined about two years, two and a half years ago. What got you guys into post punk music to begin with? Well, for me, um, I think at the time when I was uh, just kind of learning about new music and, and more underground, but also, I guess, what they called alternative music at the time, um, I was like 14 when The Cure's Disintegration came out. So that says it all. <laughs> it's, so it's been one of, one of the uh, types of music I've, I've listened to the most and I always come back to no matter what else I'm doing. Um, it just I, it always feels like kind of home to me. Totally. Yes, yeah, same. In high school, you know, I got pretty deep into some underground punk bands, but like The Cure and Suzy and all that stuff, like always stayed like a favorite. So I don't know, I just never left. I was in like the hardcore scene for a long time and I just like, I, I think I got kicked and it broke my ribs at one point and I was like, this is, I'm just, I'm looking for a little something different and that just kind of opened the door to, you know, post-punk is like, everything else radical and not necessarily the oi or the you know d beat and uh i just love it like, there's so many corners of that world that i just i'll never get sick of it i don't think so the 80s the 80s were awesome for music i think i think that's what keeps me going i just love 80s shit like 80s movies and music and everything so yeah it sounds like that style is coming back lately that sound the 80s sound I hope so. I hope more of it. <laughs> now, your latest album, Storm, it's incredible. What made you uh, pick uh, Moths as your single? Because the whole album's incredible. I think we... Um we picked Moss because it was the most similar in feeling to our, our first record. And so while we went into lots of different uh, styles and kind of twists and turns in, in our new record, Storm, we kind of thought it would be more gentle for our audience who already kind of dug what we were doing. So we, we felt like that would kind of segue them into the new sound and also, you know, hear differences and, you know, how we recorded and, and Dylan's guitar and all that kind of stuff. Do you have an idea what the next single might be? I think the next one will be Scorpio. <laughs> we have a song about Scorpios. So for Scorpio season, we'd like to get a video out for that. And I want to give go into a little detail about the themes of the record. OK. I thought a major theme was transformation. Like, I mean, I did not write the words. So I was kind of on the receiving end of, you know, what these songs developed into and just watching you know the storyline from one song to another i mean there's all these different environments but there's always just this like moving through things or you know the moth transforms and i just to me that's what the whole album is about and very transformative time in each of our lives as well so that's my thought what about you dina what do you think i think for sure yeah there was a lot of changes going on with you know each of the members and i think we like projected that into like the feelings that we were having when we were writing music together it just came out naturally like that so for sure i also feel like one of the themes of the record is about um kind of finding honesty um inside and uh using that to 
to get a vision of the future, the kind of future that you want, and hopefully like have a transformative change within you that that allows you to do that. You know, kind of like setting goals and 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 acknowledging your fears, but going through with things anyway, like Dylan said. Now I know this just came out recently. Are you working on any more court music? We are, but um, because we can't meet in person, uh, it's kind of gently and by you know computer and trading files and just talking about what we might want to get up to uh, soon. And because we're really more a band that likes to feel each other's energy when when we're writing and so these are just kind of what we're doing now is just kind of uh drafts and and little ideas but we absolutely hope to be writing again soon as soon as it's safe to get together we all have some little you know demo recordings of like ideas that we're saving up until we meet and uh i just can't wait same same <laughs> <laughs> I also, I recently got a new guitar that I have right here and I'm in love with, and I'm just like, I don't know. I feel like the instruments that are involved in the record are always such a, you know, voice, and um, I was using Gina's guitar for the last record, and it's an amazing guitar, but I know that the next record's going to be way different because um, our fourth member who isn't able to be here tonight, she's an amazing musician as well, um, Winter, and uh, yeah. Like, it's just going to be such an amazing process once we get it off the ground. Yeah, I think also a lot of um, a, a lot of the writing of Storm was about us learning how to communicate and work together in creating the best versions of our ideas. And we really got very nitty gritty and, and like had a, and it, it kind of like ended up being a very emotional process. So I think that now, uh, which ended up being good for, for the music, but um, I think the next record will be all fun. You know, we're all, we're all missing fun during the pandemic. So, <laughs> so I, think, I think it's gonna be a great time. <laughs> yes. So now if people wanna find you online, look you up, get music on social media, how do they do that? Um, we're all over. We have a Bandcamp page, which is utsy.bandcamp.com, where you can buy all the records, and we also have, like, other merch on there, um, buttons and shirts and stuff like that, and we're on Spotify also, so you can sign up there, and we're on YouTube. We have a YouTube channel, so... Uh, plus Facebook and Instagram. We're pretty much... And Twitter, right? We got it. Yeah, and Twitter so, and Pandora. Like, so basically just pick pick something you can find it <laughs> yeah. and then follow all of them yeah all of them <laughs> please <laughs> and the band name what does that mean well i don't know if you're familiar with otzi the the mummy uh there was a ice mummy that was found in the alps a uh, very very old guy and uh one of our old members had a dream that he visited her and we were all like, wow, that's so cool. You know, so um, we had not had a band name for quite a while uh, when we, we had started. So we just named ourselves after him in his honor. <laughs> and he kind of represents, um, you know, being able to survive even when even past the physical body and be able to still tell your story, um, you know, for people who will look, look under the ground. He was also the first tattooed person in the world he was well, that room, very that nice. has skin. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, first tattooed person, and he was really into mushroom medicines. You know, he's a cool guy. He's just, he's a friend at this point. <laughs> the meaning behind the name, that's cool. Yeah, and actually there's a museum dedicated to him called the Otzi Museum, and they gave us a shout out <laughs> a few months ago. Uh, that was super uh, fun. In Northern Italy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We were afraid we'd have a beef, but there wasn't one. <laughs> we love each other. <laughs> well, it was good having you and talk with you. And everyone, look them up. Thank you so much for having us. Yeah. Definitely.